हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम मैग्नेटिक इफेक्ट ऑफ करंट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी एंड द क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम जे मेन सिक्स सितंबर 2020 शिफ्ट टू द क्वेश्चन इज अ स्क्वायर लूप ऑफ साइड टू ए एंड कैरिंग करंट आई इज कैप्ट इन एक्स जेड प्लेन विद इट सेंटर एट ऑरिजिन अ लॉन्ग वायर कैरिंग द सेम करंट आई इज प्लेस पैरल टू जेड एक्सेस एंड पासिंग थ्रू पॉइंट जीरो बी जीरो the magnitude of the torque on loop about z axis would be so this is the question and these are the options for it and let's figure out what should be the answer question the setup should be this is x y z plane and the coil is kept along this this is a b c and d the net force on ac and bd is going to be zero because If you use right hand thumb rule, the magnetic field lines for this wire, these magnetic field lines will be in the form of concentric circles. Because of this wire, magnetic field for AB will be inward. So we will indicate it with the cross sign, and for CD, this is coming outward. outward so we will put here but for ac and bd equal number of magnetic field lines are going inward and equal number of coming outward so net magnetic field at ac and bd is going to be zero as magnetic field effect is zero then the net force is also going to be zero it means we have to find out the net force on ab and cd if we see carefully the interpretation for this diagram can be like this also this is the point y and here uh, we can consider any uh, one point say x dash on ab and uh, this is uh, the point y dash on cd both are separated by distance 2a and this distance is b okay so what could be the force at this point x so if you want to find out f then the formula is f is equal to i l b but what is b here b is the magnetic field due to this wire and as we know infinitely long wire magnetic field is b is equal to mu not i upon 2 pi b this is due to infinitely long wire we can put this uh, magnetic field value in this uh, formula so f is going to be i l is going to be the total length of uh, this wire 2a and the b is mu not i upon 2 pi b so the force due to this wire at point x is going to be this way if this is theta then this f will be divided into two components this is say theta dash then this is going to be f cos theta right and this is the perpendicular distance so if you want to calculate torque torque is equal to f force into perpendicular distance perpendicular distance and what is the force here force is this mu not i square into 2a upon 2 pi b and what is the perpendicular distance here perpendicular distance is 2a but here is a point you cannot use f you have you have to find out the component of force which is perpendicular to this distance that is we are going to use the uh, equation f cos theta so you have to multiply with cos theta component so cos theta if you see carefully Uh, for this uh, triangle f cos theta is base upon hypotenuse and the distance we are going to use here cos theta we have to replace it with mu not i square into 2a upon 2 pi and for b we have to use the distance between this wire and this point so we cannot use b point here we have to consider the uh, force at x dash so we are going to take the distance r so here we will put the value r and uh, for cos theta this is um, base upon uh, uh, this um, r and uh, for uh, this 2a so what is the final answer 2 and 2 will be cut and for r you are going to use this um, this is a so this is going to be a square plus b square so overall 
the answer is mu naught i square into this a and this a this is going to be a square and uh, this 2 will be here divided by pi this b will also be here and r and r r square this is going to be a square plus b square and if you see the options and uh, the this answer 2 mu naught i square a square b pi a square plus b square so this is the answer b thank you